This is my uh, nephew's power wheel. He got this for his first birthday. And uh, let's just say it's seen some better days. Um, it's been out in the sun for the past year or so. It's a little bit melted here. Steering wheel is completely gone. And I think the electronics have taken a, a bath a few times. But uh, we're going to try to bring this thing back to life and make this a obstacle avoiding power wheel car. This is part one to my obstacle avoiding slash self driving power wheels build. If you want to follow me on this journey and uh, learn as I learn, um, or if you like any of my other tinkering videos, um, subscribe to my channel Duct Tape Mechanics. The first step was to overhaul the original electronics, which was to remove the motor control unit board and hook up the battery and the motor to a double pull, double throw relay. So I wired up the relay so that the vehicle would go forward while hooked to the normally closed contacts of the relay. Um, then I hooked the normally open contact of the relay to this um, 5 volt um, relay which is being controlled by this Arduino microcontroller. The 5 volt relay is triggered by this ultrasonic sensor which I put in the front here. This essentially shoots out a sound um, wave which when hits an obstacle bounces back and that time is recorded. And since we know the speed of sound we can get a distance from that time. And I've incorporated that into the code so when we're roughly 40 cent centimeters away from an obstacle it triggers the 5 volt relay which you can kind of hear there which will reverse the polarity of the car and make it go backwards for a um, set amount of time okay it's time for a test um, I've added the switch to turn the car on and I've put this cardboard box in my yard um, currently I don't have any control of the steering uh, but uh, I pointed it in that direction so it should go straight then rever reverse direction once it detects the cardboard box. Let's see what happens. There you go. So Obviously the next step is to add the left and right sensors to this so we can actually make this a true obstacle avoiding car. So That's it. Tune in for the next video.